It's Madden NFL 24, and we've got some history in this battle of AFL alumni. It's the Los Angeles Chargers and the Kansas City Chiefs under the lights on Sunday night. Well, the sun has gone down, and so is the temperature as EA Sports welcomes you to GEHA Field at Venerable Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City. Tonight, we've got a great Sunday night matchup on tap as it'll be the LA Chargers taking on the defending Super Bowl champions, the Kansas City Chiefs. send this one away and no run back here on the opening kickoff as we'll start at the 25 here are the Chargers ready to go on offense led by their first round pick in 2020 the man out of Oregon Justin Herbert and it certainly had taken Herbert long to earn his status as one of the league's best and most entertaining passers locked and loaded at every snap and the second he sees an opening that ball is soaring downfield. You better be on your toes against him on defense. The second you turn your head, he'll burn you. They'll run with Edwards here to begin the drive. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Oh, boy, partner, did that just happen? I've got my hand over my eyes right now because like you, like him, is going to haunt my dreams, too. He was wide how did he overthrow him there? Uh, defensively, just very lucky. You know that they got away with one there. So trouble already here on their opening drive. This is third and nine. Now it's Herbert. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. Herbert on first down now. And the Chiefs are going to get him. The Mississippi State man Chris Jones with a sack there. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. Here's Herbert. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. No surprise at all. They're looking for the big man early in this one. The only surprise for them, he couldn't hang on to the pass. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means he'll need to come up with something here on third down. Here's Herbert. Quick hitter here, it's complete. They'll wind up getting just a yard out of it, and that's going to make it fourth down. Well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game, but it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. 
third down. They gave him the underneath stuff. You got to go up and make the tackle right away. Now fourth down, so the Chargers trot out J.K. Scott. Call that a 46-yard punt with a net of 40 on the six-yard return. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. The KC offense set to go, led as always by the gunslinger, a former MVP in this league, it's Patrick Mahomes. And simply put, for many, he's the gold standard for quarterbacks in today's NFL because of his ability to create, find the open man, use all the different arm angles that he has. He's a complete package, and boy, his team loves to play around him. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at the 20. They'll try and start this drive in the air. The catch made by DeAndre Hopkins. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. I think defensively, you're okay with that. Here in the first quarter, he's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to start them out when you do that. It'll go as a gain of 10 on a Kansas City first down. So we just called his name on the previous snap, and they go right back to him, Charles, for a second consecutive completion. Yeah, I think what we're discovering on this drive is that he feels like he has answers no matter what defense you throw up there. He reads it, finds the open spot, and is available for the completion. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that will bring up second down. If you're these receivers, you got to be ready because when he's going to throw it quick on that RPO, he's going to throw it quick. And this is why you spend time with your guy either in the offseason, during the week, the whole bundle. Because sometimes it's just telepathy. You both see the same thing, and he knows get the ball to him right away. A run by Pacheco on second down. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Here is third down and four. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he will have the Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And they clearly wanted to come out, Charles, and be aggressive throwing the football. And they've been pretty efficient along with that aggressiveness. He's now 4-4 four four on this opening drive. Yeah, that's led to a fresh set of downs. I like what he's doing back there. You can tell he's at ease. Feels good about what he's doing. I think if I'm the play caller, I'm reading that. I'm continuing to let him throw the football. They'll send a receiver in motion left. Mahomes taps this forward. It's a jet sweep. Now they did get a little gain on this play, but all in all, a nice job defensively against the touch pass. They were able to string it out towards the sideline and never let him get the corner, turn it upfield for a bigger chunk of yardage. Here's second and seven. Mahomes now to throw. Wide open receiver complete. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 23. A gain there of 21 yards. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage. So timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. On first and ten, here's Pacheco. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, kind of like the way they're moving the football partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? From the 17, here's second and four. Throwing now is Mahomes. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test them early. But it proved up to the task and forced the incompletion. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Now here's Mahomes. And he is caught. And he will have a 
Chiefs first down by about three yards. the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defensive side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. So the completion good for six yards, and it's second down. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver, and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So. And he is in. Touchdown, Kansas City. Taking it in from four yards out. And the Chiefs put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. An ideal start for them, really. You force the punt, and then you go down and score. And you've got to see a fist pump on the sideline from the head coach, don't you? Because he's turned into his bench, and he's telling his team, this is how we prepare. Force the punt, go downfield and score. I told you guys, it's just like a boxer in the gym preparing for the fight. Now we get to turn it all loose. Extra point splits the uprights, and that makes the score 7-0. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. The Chargers get set to go here for their second drive. The last series for him, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. Herbert off a of play action. A swing pass here to Edwards. No gain, and it's second down. That's a nice job defensively to make sure everyone was accounted for because ordinarily you pick up the guys downfield and sometimes you forget about the running back. In this case, they did not and dropped him for no gain. Here's second and 10. Now Herbert with it looking to pass. Got an open man. It's Josh Palmer. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. His first catch, good for 16 and a first. They'll fake the handoff, now Herbert. And this caught left side by the tight end Parham. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 12 more yards there and another first down. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. First carry of the game for Hassan Haskins. Oh, look at the juke. Still going. And he's going to be shoved out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. A big play there for L.A. 43 yards on the ground. Well, welcome to the party. First carry of the game. How about that? And just think, as far as he's concerned, he's just getting warmed up. Edwards now on first and ten. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there that keeps him advancing the ball. From the five, second and four. 
Play action. It's Herbert. Touchdown, Chargers! A five-yard touchdown. And the Chargers are an extra point away from drawing level. Well, down in this part of the field, CD, they love to get him the football. And right there, a little pitch and catch for the score. Yeah, and he's such a weapon when it's that close to the end zone. And they love being able to rely on him to make those kind of catches. Talk about trust, talk about confidence, and he produces. And for the extra point, Cameron Dicker. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. For this offense, Charles, remember the last time they were out here, marched it nearly the full length of the football field, and a lot of the attack went through the air. So now they're seeing if they can duplicate that performance. Okay if I show my age a little bit, partner, because I can hear my high school coach, John Ford. I can hear his voice in my head. Laddie, when you put the ball in the air, three things can happen, and two of them are bad. But the way the game's being played now, this is just part of what they do. So I don't think they should change anything at all. They've been dominant. Keep throwing it around. A nice-looking play to start the drive down the middle and complete. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. From up near the 40 now after the big play to start, here's another first and 10. They go play fake. Mahomes, nowhere to go here. He lost the football. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble. That could have been trouble. Fortunately for him, that ball stayed close so that he could recover it on his own. And you know the prayers that were going through his head as the ball escaped from him? <laughs> How happy was he at the end of it when he found the football again, able to retain possession? The fumble on first down now. Here's second down. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Looking left side, and it's complete. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. A game there of 30 big ones. A lot of running backs in the passing game, they're just used to check it down to them or maybe dump off passes. But this guy, they use him to stretch the field, don't they? They stretched it right there, turned it into a really nice game. They go play action. Now Mahomes. And they'll hook up on the right side to Hopkins. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. Add the gain here to the previous play, and it's better than 40 yards total. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Mahomes fighting the talent of DeAndre Hopkins. And the Chiefs have taken the lead. As a fan, is there anything prettier than a well-executed post -run? No, it's a thing of beauty, especially when it's done like that for a touchdown. How about the throw, the catch, and how about the run after to get it to the end zone? Now the extra point. It's up and good, and it's 14-7 now here in the first quarter. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it's finished off by the touchdown from DeAndre Hopkins.
Here's the Chiefs kickoff unit now as they'll send this one away. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. going to lead up the Chargers here first and 10 at their own 25 yard line on play action they'll throw checks this down to Edwards out of the backfield and they get him down but not before he takes it across the 40 yard line 17 yards on the catch and run it's a first down just the first quarter but tackling going to be so important going forward they've got to limit plays like that and that's something when you see it happen early in the game and they don't get him on the ground, you can always tell that they were concerned about it going in. Because I can just tell you from my days, I remember being in college and we're in all off season about a season open opponent and they had a receiver that could shake and bake with the best of them. I tackled him on the first pass of the game and the relief was incredible. Ended up having a pretty decent ball game. But if I had missed him, it <laughs> would, would have been, been a, different a story. long night. This is second and eight. Herbert. And he couldn't get that one to his man. Short of him, it's low and incomplete. Josh Palmer, the intended target, and it's third down. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Going to throw on third down with Herbert. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Through one corner, 14-7 our score. Charger football to start quarter number two. As they've got it with a first and ten. Back to throw here, Herbert. And incomplete, he dropped it. Maybe a rookie mistake there, second down. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of, you nailed it pretty well, you know. He's got to throw it better, got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught, they got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. Five yards, now it's third and five. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had the incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. Justin Herbert looking to pass. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 20-yard line. His first catch, and it's a pretty big one. They get the conversion on third down. Well, a lot of times when you get a manageable third down situation like this, you have to think about your tight end, and he comes through for him, picking up the first down. Herbert operating from the red zone. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Well, I see him catch a few passes out of the backfield in the first half. Unable to connect on that one. Certainly seems like getting in the ball in a passing game, though, is part of their game plan. It certainly is because he catches it well, creates a mismatch. You're going to cover him with a linebacker, a corner, a safety. They feel like he can win every battle. Now it's Herbert. And that falls to the ground, incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. Well, every point certainly counts at this stage of the game, but after driving so far, 
you absolutely know they want to finish it with six instead of three. Well, this drive, they're a perfect two of two on third down conversions, but they need a full 10 yards here. Now, here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. And that snap, he's a hero of his defense after the play he just made. A one-possession game, and his hit kept it exactly that. Cameron Dicker on now to try the field goal. From the left hash, this from 37. And his kick is indeed good. And they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14-10. So no problems at all on that one. And, and you know there's virtually no win. This is a kicker's dream here tonight. It absolutely is, isn't it? So to me, with no wind, it should be a passer's dream as well, yeah. right? But in this case, the defense held out. They had to force the field goal. Now, after the Dicker field goal, he's back out, ready to send it away. This taken in right around the goal line. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs ready to go again. He hooked up on the last drive with DeAndre Hopkins for the touchdown. And now set to go here again, first and 10. Here's Mahomes to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that's going to bring up second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. A throw out wide caught by Hopkins. His fifth catch tonight, and it's good for a first down. My next teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. It, he's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, I, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. Second and 10. Mahomes to throw once more. Oh, that'll be incomplete. Well, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. This is part of why this guy's got multiple MVPs on the mantle. We're used to seeing him make the impossible throws, but here Mahomes knows he's got nothing. So he wisely just gets rid of it. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Now Mahomes. Complete. Give them credit for excellent coverage, tight coverage. They're doing a lot of things that we talk about in basketball. They're causing disruptions in the passing game. And as long as that continues, it'll be tough for them to gain any momentum throwing the ball downfield. On fourth down, Matt Ariza sent on to punt. Back deep for L.A. is Darius Davis. Fair catch called for right around the 11-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And the Chargers will be backed up deep to begin their drive as they take over first and 10. Herbert and the Chargers now with a first and 10 at their own 12-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And that nearly a turnover, but it's incomplete. Oh, fortunate to retain possession there, and it's second down. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was, 
Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. On second down, it's Edwards. And he'll use his blockers to get this up over the 20 to the 21. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. That was a good run, and it got to the second level. And what I mean by that is that's where the linebackers usually play, first level being the defensive front, last level being the secondary. But the strong safety position ended up making the tackle, and oftentimes we call them a hybrid. Combination defensive back, combination linebacker. We saw the linebacker make the stop. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Up the middle, here's Edwards. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. That was a good run, probably right on the edge of breaking into something really big. So the defensive guys right now are talking about, okay, what can we do to slow him down before he truly gets started? Ball on the 40 now. Here's second and a yard. Here's Herbert. Quick hitter here, it's complete. That one, a first down pickup of eight. An eight yard pickup, and the Chargers first down. Here's Herbert. And his throw is incomplete. I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes as that throw arrived. Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand, and that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. Now a second and ten. Running left is Edwards. And he's fortunate to get anything from that. Give him a yard up to the 49. Well, how about the big guy there showing some agility? He just floated from his D tackle position in order to make that play. Defense, defense, defense. Now play number eight on this drive, and they need nine yards to pick up the first on third. Herbert now. And he's taken down. The Chiefs said. Nick Bolton with a big-time sack on third down. It's a loss of seven. Even keeping the back end for extra protection on third down, they still could prevent the sack. Now it's fourth and long thanks to a terrific individual effort on defense. On fourth down, J.K. Scott ready to punt it away. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. Coming. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 23. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He'll check this one down to Pacheco. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Now Mahomes. It's Kelsey on the ground. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. They'll get 13 yards for the second play in a row. A lot of tight 
have just used their size and their strength, trying to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. From midfield, here's Mahomes. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. The catch and run pays off to the tune of 35 yards. And the offense is saying to itself right now, if only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. And again, it's Mahomes. And he's got it. Touchdown, Chiefs. Mahomes fighting the talent of DeAndre Hopkins. And they're able to add on to their advantage. In the second quarter, and already his second touchdown reception. Absolutely the definition of a difference maker here in this first half. Clearly one of his quarterback's favorite targets in this game. And I figure he's going to draw a little more attention and coverage moving forward. An extra point attempt here still to come. It's good, and it's 21-10. Just a four-play drive that time. And it's finished off by the touchdown from DeAndre Hopkins. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. They'll look to make some inroads here, trailing 21 to 10 as they come up on a first and 10. The drive starts with a carry by Edwards. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 61 yards for him on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in this first half. Now that's a big time run. Lightning in a bottle, forget it. He exploded out of the bottle for that type of a pickup. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. They'll fake the handoff. Now Herbert. And the Chiefs are going to get him. Chris Jones. That is now two sacks for him here in this first half. But he continues, Charles, to be under constant pressure. And these sacks, they're starting to pile up. And if they want to have a realistic chance in this one, they've got to change their blocking assignments. They've got to do a better job to keep him upright. If he's going to be on the deck constantly, they've got no chance to win this game. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Up the middle, it's Edwards. And a good swarm to the football defensively as they get him down at about the 40. And they only get a yard back there. They'll be left with a third down and long. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground honed in on it, and stopped him. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Going down the middle, and it's complete. He's still on his feet. And all the way in for a Charger touchdown. A big play there. 60 yards. And the Chargers have got it back to within a score. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, <laughs> all right? Because once he took off, 
I mean, let's face it. That should have been done in Big Sky Country. Aren't any speed <laughs> limits out there? And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And it's now 21-17. So after the touchdown, here's Dicker out to kick this one off. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. DeAndre Hopkins and the rest of the offense heading back onto the field. We're in the second quarter. He already has two touchdowns. We know how good he is. That's well documented. How do you contain him? We know he's a nightmare. So in this situation, I would go ahead and double him maybe even have a third person in the area and try and dissuade them from throwing him the football. Make someone else beat me for a while because I don't know that their talents are his because when he gets his hands on the ball, he breaks down my entire D. Someone else, they may not make the same type of a play. Well, we know his talents are very good. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. First and 10 at the 38. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They run it with Pacheco from the gun. Oh, heck of a move. Oh, and he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Well, it's certainly been successful to hold it around in this game. That's allowed them to move the ball on offense, but I've got to tell you, to watch them run the football and successfully, I'm not taking sides, but to see the ball in the running back's hands, oh, that's football for me. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 46. Mahomes now to throw. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. Well, they've been back on the heels a little bit here in this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Throwing now is Mahomes. The tight end, Kelsey, has it over the middle. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 27-yard line. Nice play for Kansas City, picking up the first 18 yards that time. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part of it. a heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. And the Chargers will take over here just shy of the 30. The Charger drive about to get going. And things are starting to move in the right direction. They get the touchdown last drive, then their defense gets them the football back. Yeah, now they have a chance to get the lead if they can put something together here. And I'm eager to see how they decide to do it. Do they want to be methodical, or do they want to take the big strike and go after it right now? And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Well, they may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. First play of the drive, excellent run. Just sets up wash, rinse, repeat. Another first down. First down now, but that clock rolling. A shotgun snap for Herbert. Short throw to Disley. So the completion good for seven there. And it'll be second down. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. Now Herbert got to get him to the line in a hurry. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And it's taken in by Quentin Johnston. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 
He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. And now at this point in the first half, you've got to realize as an offense, you're not going to get it all back in one fell swoop. This is going to be about sustained drives and making sure you finish with points. And that's a good throw there for a first down. He's got another one to Johnston. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Now a timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. From the shotgun, here's Herbert. That's complete to Disley, the tight end. And he's got this inside the 10 to the 9 before he's out of bounds. That'll go for a gain of 7, and it'll be second down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Second and 3 from the 9. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. Looking middle, and that's complete. And just 3 yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. That was a nicely run slant route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. Play number seven coming on this drive. It's third in inches. To the air again, Herbert. He's got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Chargers. Will Disley from six yards away. And the Chargers will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. These two teams in this first half, it's been fun. Back and forth, back and forth. Well, it's not fun for the defensive coordinators, <laughs> but offensive coordinators are enjoying it. Yeah, they're having streaks here, aren't they? Being able to put scores together and, and really bunch them up, and we have a tight game here. You know, we often talk about having the right shoes for the right turf. Today is track shoes. <laughs> That's what we've seen with these offenses. Yeah, it's been an absolute track meet so far, and fun to watch. Extra point up and good by Dicker, and that gives him a three-point lead. Here's Dicker now as he'll send this one away. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Chiefs going to go back on offense one final time in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. A little under 30 seconds to go. We'll see how they play it here on first and 10. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. It's complete to Hopkins. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. Second and five. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Short throw hauled in by Kelsey. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They go play action. Now Mahomes. 
Open man downfield, that's Smith-Schuster. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. First and ten, here's Mahomes. And an off-balance throw there, and it's going to wind up incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try to pick up another first down. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. is good. It was running out of gas there at the end, but he winds up getting just enough on it. And that will tie us at 24 all. So a big play before the end of the half to get him into this spot, and they cash in with three. How about the one-two to the solar plexus on that one? The big play, the field goal, not much time left on the clock. That's the way to go into the half. So still a little bit of time following the main field goal, but we are tied as the kick's away. So thanks to the late field goal, we are all tied up heading to intermission. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports Halftime Report. We thought this one would be a close battle coming in, and we have not been disappointed. They are all even to this point. This has the feeling of a game that could go right down to the wire. One mistake or one big play could turn out to be the difference. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. started for the second half it was an even first half all tied on the scoreboard and no alley to be found the coverage was solid and he's dropped at the 18. here comes the Chiefs offensive unit as they'll have it to begin quarter number three this offense ready for the first drive of the third quarter well quarters number one and two entertaining we saw some good offense points put up Charles and all tied on the scoreboard. And it sets us up for what could be a really fun second half because we've seen both sides score almost at will here in the first half. And now, here in the second half, getting the ball first, you've got to think, hey, we can go out and really run our offense the way we did in the first half. But if I'm a defensive player, all I'm thinking is, can I make a play to really help out my team and break this streak of offense? They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, Get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. That win a first down pickup of eight. He had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. So first and 10 now from the 30. Mahomes going to throw. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. A gain of five brings up second and five at the 35 yard line. Ball on the 35. Here comes second and five. 
to throw. It's Mahomes. And a quick throw here. That's complete. Ball put him close to 100 yards receiving. He's at 98, and he's got a first down. Pitch and catch here to Travis Kelsey. And they'll work this down to the 40 yard line. Tackled there. 17 yards on the catch and run. It's a first down. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. You have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 right at the 40. Now here's Mahomes. And they'll set up the screen to Pacheco. And he gets it down to the 32. Seven yards there on the first down screen play. With all the success they've had throwing the football as a pass rusher, you know you've got to come hard when you see him drop back the throw. So I really like this call to counteract that pass rush with a screen. It turns into positive yardage. A lot of times the offense says, just replace the rusher with the ball, and it turns into a good play. DeAndre Hopkins making the catch. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 13 yard line. And with that catch, he goes over 100 yards receiving on the night. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. That's good. The completion there for seven yards, and it's second down. I think the best offenses love to get the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss, and they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. Well, we saw him shed a nice tackle on that play. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no gain. A field goal would get him the lead, but that's not what they're shooting for as they come up on third down. Now it's Mahomes again. And that is incomplete. Oh, he did everything but hold on to it. But a nice play defensively, and now it brings up fourth down. Sometimes the game is pretty simple. Put a few extra defensive backs on the field, give them nowhere to throw the football, force the incompletion, and get off the field on third down. And it's a fake. He's going to throw it, and he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. Well, I see what they were trying to do there. You pop up your holder, roll him out. You got the option to run or pass. This didn't work. Not at all. The communication was excellent defensively to make sure that receivers were covered as they escaped from the line of scrimmage because that's supposed to be a surprise to everyone, and that's how they get free. People forget their assignments on defense. That didn't happen. And think about the guy rolling out with the football looking for an open person. No one there. Helpless feeling. Helpless because that gap between you and defenders now is going to close and close quickly. Herbert going to lead up the Chargers here, first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. They'll start this drive out on the ground. The 71 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. Second down in the yard. Herbert. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down. That was a route run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. So first and 10 now from the 30. 
Justin Herbert looking to pass. And that one complete to his receiver, Palmer. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. 25 yards there on the catch and run. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 44-yard line. Out of the gun, Herbert. Quick hitter here, it's complete. Now this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there are more people there to get him down. Out of the gun, they give to Edwards. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Not enough there for a first. No gain, as a matter of fact. And it leaves them at third and one. And the big fellow stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Haskins try to pick it up. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for a first down. They're able to convert with a gain of four. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've run the bell three times with passing touchdowns. But guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. Herbert on first down now. Throw is going to be incomplete. It sort of looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But this defense gets two more stops. They can keep them out of that area. Here's second and ten now from about the 32. To the right side, this is Edwards. And only able to get two here. Stopped at the 30. This has been an up and down, back and forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive will take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. Out of the huddle now for play number nine on this drive. This is third down and eight. Here's Herbert. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Defense, they came up with a couple big plays in this sequence, and none better than the one right there, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. Cameron Dicker on now to try the field goal. He made his first, this from 47 yards out. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle, and they have regained the lead. So give him three on that drive. And, you know, normally you'd say, we'll take it. But the way points have been flying around, it feels like a little bit of a letdown. Yeah, you just have to wonder, are field goals going to be enough? Because as you pointed out, the way touchdowns have been scored, does kicking a field goal actually put you at a disadvantage the rest of the way? Now, after the Dicker field goal, he's back out, ready to send it away. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. Getting set to go again, DeAndre Hopkins marches back onto the field. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at about the 32. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. The pro bowler DeAndre Hopkins, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down.
Now Mahomes. The hookup on the right side to Hopkins. He's been big. Two touchdowns earlier. Now he's got a first down here. And he's certainly been a huge factor in this when he's got the two touchdowns to his credit. Now they look to him again. He picks up the first. Yeah, I can hear everyone saying, well, why don't you cover him? Double him, triple him. Do what you have to do. But sometimes they get locked into such a groove and such a connection, it doesn't matter how many guys are in his area. He certainly looks to be in that groove right now. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Charles, he's now over 400 yards passing in this one. It feels like he has a zillion completions. Just a very memorable effort from a guy that we thought could be in line for a big game, and he has exceeded our expectation. That he has, and I'm not really surprised at all because when you look at this offensive unit, they are loaded across the board. And, of course, the guy throwing them, He's a big-time player himself. They brought it from start to finish, and really helped get the better of the opposing secondary. So that'll be no better than an incompletion, and that'll bring up second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Throwing now is Mahomes. Throwing middle, and it's complete. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers' 22-yard line. And with that catch, he goes over 100 yards receiving on the night. That's a nice catch there. Remember, he had the fumble earlier. No way he was giving up the ball in that situation. Secured it tight to his body and picks up the first down. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it'll be second down. Mahomes to throw once more. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. It'll be a pickup of four. Good enough to earn him yet another first down. Looking to throw is Mahomes. To the right side, it's Kelsey. And he's able to get this down to the five-yard line before he's out of bounds. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and that'll make it second down. Mahomes now to throw. Chiefs have retaken a third quarter lead. Well, that's just how they drew it up, CD. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. Absolutely excellent execution by all involved. And the coordinator, got to give him credit, found the perfect play call. Quarterback let it fly as soon as the target came free, and his guy made a nice catch. Just how you draw it up in practice and then execute it in the game. Extra point right down the middle. And that will make this a four-point game. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it's capped off with a Kansas City touchdown. team on the field now as they will send this one away. And this taken in at the goal line. And he returns this to the 22. And it appears we have a Charger shaken up on that last play. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to KC.
The Charger drive about to get going. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drop. Oh, well, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And he will return this one to the 30-yard line. Before we came up to the booth, the last thing he says, we're walking off the field. Want to play mistake-free football. Well, that just went out the window. That would have been. And you remember what you said to me when we were walking up to the booth after he said that? You're like, oh, fatal lapse of words. Every time we hear that, things tend to fall apart a little bit. That's what we saw there. Didn't get enough on that throw, and it turned into an interception. So first and 10 now from the 30. So after the INT, here's Mahomes. And he is going to lose yardage here. He was unable to shake free there, and they'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Heck of a play there to get to him quickly and get him down for a loss. I think they did a really nice job getting ready for this game, scouting, watching film, and understanding defensively what the play design was. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. And his throw here is incomplete. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play. One that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. Try to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. Throwing is Mahomes on third. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's out of bounds, but not before a big pick up that time of what's going to wind up being the final play of the third quarter. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. We're back now in KC. It's the Chiefs with the lead and the football here as we get set for quarter number four. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. They'll run here with Pacheco. And he's going to battle his way down right around the two-yard line. 40 yards rushing for him now to this point. That's good hard running right there on first and goal. That gets him down to the two and puts a lot more pressure on that defense. From the two now, second and goal. Hunt is not going anywhere. He'll be hit and dropped for no gain at the two-yard line. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. Now, they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. Here's Mahomes to throw. And that is caught. Touchdown, Kansas City. A two-yard touchdown grab. And the Chiefs are able to build on to their fourth quarter lead. We talk so often about how hard it is to win in the NFL when you turn the ball over. And here a late turnover leads to a fourth quarter touchdown and a two-score lead. And what's more important is being able to take advantage when a turnover presents itself. You've got to come up with points to make the other guy pay. They're able to do so here. And they've got a pretty good chance now of winning this football game. Point after, right down the middle. And that pushes the lead up to 11. the Chiefs kickoff unit now as they'll send this one away. From his end zone, here's Darius Davis. 
And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. And the L.A. offense ready for this next possession. And the script really is flipped for them. The momentum on the other sideline, and now they have to try and battle back from a two-score deficit. Herbert and the Chargers now with a first and 10 at their own 23. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Edwards. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. Second down and three. Now it's Herbert. Open man, it's Palmer. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. It's a gain of six. And the Chargers first down. Herbert off of play action. That's going to be caught. It's Palmer. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A good pickup there, a 22. Well, every drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to a one-score game. But I can't imagine that in their huddle that they're thinking at all about getting a field goal. They want to get into the end zone and then try and get the ball back again. They'll fake the handoff. Now Herbert. He gets it to Jackson. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. But Charles, they're trying to protect this lead late. Those are the types of mistakes they could afford to go without. But the last thing you want to give them is help in completing a comeback, which is exactly what that penalty does. So the face mask moves them closer, and now first and goal. Paskins. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. They're right there at the one. No gain, but don't let that stop you. Line back up and keep going at them. If I'm them, I'm thinking about going at it four straight times. Here's Herbert. And this will be caught in the end zone for a Chargers touchdown. A great play there. A beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Chargers have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. This is where, as a tight end, you've got to really sell that this is a run. They're going to fake the give, hope the linebackers bite, and here they do just the enough. That split second, that's all it takes for that tight end to leak out into the end zone. Touchdown. And they'll have Herbert try and throw for him. And this is caught. So they took a chance, but they are back within a single point here in the fourth. Well, I guess the coach looked at the two-point cheat sheet, said go for it, get it to a three-point game, and they did it. Yeah, and sometimes you just throw out time of game. You don't worry about that. There's just a feel sometimes in making that call. And he felt good about what he had for a two-point conversion. And now they're only down three and feeling great about themselves. So after the touchdown, here's Dicker out to kick this one off. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. And the Chiefs now getting set to go. 
They've been rolling the last couple of drives, each inning in touchdowns. So this game is flipped. They were down. Now they're up with the football. We'll see how they handle it. Can we get a spy on the headset now between the head coach and offensive coordinator? Because they've been in attack mode. Had to get back into the game. Now they have the lead. Do you stay on the attack? Or do you dial it back a little bit to try and protect this lead? Well, my cop-out answer would be somewhere in the middle. I think it's going to be a fine line, is it not? I think you're exactly right. But I do think if they can stay aggressive, and keep them on their heels, they'll be best served that way. Great way to start the drive. 20 big ones in a first down. Well, how about this aggressive approach? Got the lead, fourth quarter, continuing to throw the football. Are you thinking about Super Bowl 51? <laughs> Atlanta had the lead against New England, just, and they ended up giving it up. I was going to say, don't say it, but you did say it. I did, didn't I? Yeah, anybody watching Atlanta, my apologies. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. 22 more yards there and another first down. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner round all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice game. So again from the 39, this time from the other side of the field. Here's first and 10 to throw. It's Mahomes. And he is caught by Smith-Schuster. And he'll end up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That's back-to-back -back plays of over 20 yards. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down, stomped down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. This will be caught just inside the 10. And the Chiefs are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. Just picking up yardage in bunches here. These last few plays, they have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Working from the gun, Mahomes. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. A great effort there with now two fourth quarter touchdowns. And the Chiefs are able to add on to that lead. And that's certainly an important touchdown there and makes this a two-score game. But as we've seen, no lead is safe in this one with the way these two offenses have lit up the scoreboard. I would imagine that on their sidelines, they're both yelling at their defenses, hey, you want to get involved here? One big play from you, that could win the game for us. Now the try here for the extra point. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. Five plays there on that drive. And it winds up with the Chiefs hitting pay dirt. the Chiefs kickoff unit now as they'll send this one away. Taken at the goal line. Davis fighting. He loses the football. And it's picked up by the Chiefs. And they'll be at the 18-yard line. Great field position here in the red zone. So problems compounding themselves here on the return. They just give up the touchdown, and now they lose the football. Yeah, partner, things are starting to unravel a little bit for them right in front of our eyes. They're going to be looking for some answers and quickly. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. They'll run out of the gun with Pacheco. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. A gain of 10 as they look to add on to this 10-point lead. This defense, Charles, they have unraveled here in the fourth. In a sense, it's like they're being pressed, like in a basketball game, and they just can't get the ball over half court. I mean, no matter what they do, they can't get off the field. They can't slow them down. They're just going up and down the field against them. Yeah, unraveling would be a perfect word for them. This is caught. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, 
something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open. That makes things tough for guys trying to get to the football. They'll run with Hunt on second down. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Kareem Hunt taking it in from two yards out. And the Chiefs are an extra point away from making this a three-score game. So the toss play effective, even down here near the goal line. Yeah, and you're hoping the defense commits too many men to stop the run in the middle of the field and that your blockers can gain a little bit of an advantage. And when they do, foot race to the pylon, and this time he had the speed to win that race. Extra point splits the uprights, and that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Here's Darius Davis on the return. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Chargers getting set to go. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, it's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. There's a nice move. And yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. The first down screen pass, good for five. And a really nice play call there to start the drive, especially if your team has a little bit of a reputation for throwing it downfield. You come out, and you think maybe you can catch them off guard a little bit, and they did. Little screen pass, backdoored them, and that time worked well for a solid game. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. Herbert now. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. Herbert's this throw taken in by Johnston. Another first down as he went right back to the same well, this time for 17 yards. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this league, a loss is a loss, and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or Boy, something that feels a little bit cheap. But if they trim that lead down to just two scores, that's still a benefit to this squad. Defensively here, you've got the cushion, but back-to-back -back pretty big pass plays there. Bend but don't break, but are they bending too much? I think that they are. To me, it'd be like playing basketball, and you put up a token press. Make sure you get up there and make them eat up some time. Make it a little bit of resistance so they can't just run it right down your throat. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that will bring up second down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Herbert throwing again. He'll go underneath. 
dropping it off to Edwards. And the Chargers are going to have a first and goal as the tackle made at the 10-yard line. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? On first down, Justin Herbert. Touchdown, Chargers! Will Disley, his second touchdown of the night. And the Chargers have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. The fourth quarter touchdown there, back to a two-score game, but time is not their ally. No, it's not, partner. They still have a pulse, but it's probably a little weak right now. A lot of things have to go right in these final two minutes plus for them. I think they have to be thinking onside kick here, and we know how difficult those are to recover. Extra point up and good by Dicker, and the lead is trimmed down to 10. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And the Chiefs are going to make the recovery. The fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it they do actually recover the ball which is what we saw here I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number kind of like when the coaches tell us well when you score on special teams 93 percent of the time you win the game I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical Schuster complete. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these final couple of minutes and put this one in the left-hand column. Now here's a fake on the jet sweep as they'll go instead with Pacheco. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. This is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. They'll run again. And he takes it down to the 13 and picks up the first. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Now Mahomes gives to Hunt. And strong running there as he's inside the 10 and down to the 8-yard line. Facing a second and six from the eight. Six. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And he's going to be hemmed in and brought down right at the line of scrimmage. And the officials here are going to pause the game for a second. Looks like there's an injured chief on the field. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to Arrowhead. Yeah. 
Third and five. Mahomes to throw. And to find the open man. That's complete. Touchdown. Juju Smith-Schuster on a touchdown pass from Patrick Mahomes. And the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. What a huge touchdown that was, obviously, here in the late stages of the fourth quarter as they try to put this one away. And, Brandon, when they watch the film after this week, they'll be very proud of every rep if they close this game out. Just a few snaps remaining. They can't relax just yet. A try here for the extra point. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. That time, a six-play drive. And it's capped off by the touchdown from Juju Smith-Schuster. Here's the Chiefs kickoff unit now as they'll send this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. A lane opens here. He's past the 30. It's a foot race. And they are not going to catch him. He's in. Touchdown, Chargers. It's been a back-and-forth game, a lot of points on the board, and that return right there kind of indicative of how this thing's gone. Yeah, you've seen both teams go at it, and as you just pointed out, both of them have found the end zone. But just like in boxing, you know the blow that hurts the most? The one you didn't see coming, and that often is the case when it comes in special teams. The extra point try now from Dicker. And the lead is trimmed down to 10. Well, we talk a lot about explosive plays on offense. How about an explosive play on special teams? Certainly one there on the kick return for a touchdown. Down two scores, out of timeouts, a must recover if they're going to have any shot. And the Chiefs are going to make the recovery. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. Now this Chiefs offense gets set to go again. And still a little bit of time left, but the defense can't stop the clock. So three kneel downs should be enough to finish this one off. Defense wants to stop it as they take the knee. Second and 11 now. And it's straight, it's Pacheco. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. I guess the simple question, why not just take a knee there? I don't understand either why you would take any sort of a chance. We've seen it happen in the game of football. Doesn't matter whether you've watched high school, college, or the NFL. Some people get a little greedy, try to get that extra running play in, and it can backfire on them. 
So he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up, and he's going to want to keep that game ball. He was sensational. The partner under the lights in prime time. This offense, they gave the nation quite a show, putting up that many points to come away with what will certainly be a memorable win for them. And Brandon, I think it's as simple as this. Some players, some teams, they're just meant for the big stage. And when they get a chance to play in this type of atmosphere, with all eyes are on them and all the lights are shining brightly, they show up and they show up. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gunn. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Chiefs victorious here as we say so long from Kansas City.